Hello everyone, my name is Gaming. Welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to transfer your Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, mobile, and PC Bedrock Worlds over to Java Edition. Or if you just simply want to transfer your worlds from console Bedrock over to PC Bedrock, you can do that too. If you already have a world on Bedrock PC and just wanting to transfer your world directly to Java Edition, I will leave a timestamp in the description below. By the way, no matter what world you convert to Java Edition, regardless if it's old or new, Entities will get deleted, so like pets and stuff, at the time you're recording this video, you have been warned. And if this tutorial does help you, give it a like. For console players, you will need the following, online subscription to PlayStation Plus, Xbox Game Pass, or Switch Online. For both console and mobile players, you will need a two-player realm for Minecraft. Price will vary from country to country. I already know someone is going to ask me this, but once you've done this, yes, you can cancel your subscription to your realm, just make sure you download the world before it expires. And you also need a Microsoft account and Bedrock for Windows. Let's get straight into it. I'm now on my Xbox One console. Let's go against the world that I'll be using for this tutorial. Firstly, you wanna load up into your Minecraft world just to make sure that it's the right world. Fun fact, this is a really old Xbox 360 survival world that I had done a Let's Play series on back in the day. Anyway, moving on. Now you want to back out into the main menu and you want to duplicate your world just as a backup because you just never know. Now go into multiplayer and turn it on if it's not already. Now go up to play on realm, add a two player realm, I agree, purchase and let it do its thing. Now go into Realm and press play so you know that your world is loaded up and correct. And it also seems like you can do up to three worlds on the one subscription. Now that your world is loaded up and you know it's definitely correct, you're done on the console side. Let's move on to the PC. Now once you're on your computer, you want to load up Bedrock Edition for PC. Head into Realms and as we can see, my world is there from console. You want to load it up and make sure it's correct and mine is definitely correct. Now back on the Realm screen, you want to open settings select the world and download. Once again, I recommend duplicating the world as a backup, just in case. Now you want to export your world. I'm saving mine to my desktop so it's just easier to find for later. Next, you want to open up your internet browser and install this world converter program. Now, since we exported our world earlier, it will be a .mc file. You can either drag and drop your world or open it up using File Explorer. Now, if you notice above Java and Bedrock, there are betas. Java is the Java snapshot and above Bedrock is the Bedrock preview. You can convert your world to those versions if you want to. Just be aware your game might break. However, it is strongly recommended that you use the version next to the beta as that is the latest release. There is also an advanced mode, but I haven't used it personally, so I don't really know much about it. However, you just want to click convert. Now, if you have a more up-to-date world, like you've played your world only on Bedrock Edition and you've played it very recently, you shouldn't get any errors while converting your world to Java Edition. However, if you're like me who is transferring a world from Legacy Edition, aka Xbox 360 Edition of Minecraft, there will be errors and they are very common. And I will talk about that a little bit more towards the end. Once your world has been converted, you want to unzip the file. To know I am using Rinra. Once you have unzipped your file, you want to press Windows key and the R key on your keyboard at the same time to open up this little window and type in this. Now you want to head into Minecraft and you want to drag your world over just like that. Now you want to open up the Minecraft launcher and open Java Edition. Make sure when you open up Java Edition you have the latest version installed or at least the version you have chosen to convert your world to. And here we go, my world is here. Now since this is an old Xbox 360 world, the things that are broken that I've noticed so far are chunks on the ground, trees missing, world border generation, and sometimes you might get some like blocks missing. Apart from that, it's been fine. And everything that is outside of this S360 generation is completely fine. By the way, I did test this earlier using a bedrock world from the bedrock preview and everything worked out just fine with no issues. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please give the video a like and subscribe for more content in the future. If you have any problems, let me know and I'll help you out as best as I can. I'm Every Gaming and I'm out. See you in the next one.